The Trudeau government's war on Alberta continues. Hi, I'm Brian Lilly, political columnist for the Toronto Sun. Alberta has long felt like they have been the target of the Trudeau government. It was Bill C-69, the No More Pipelines Bill. That's the one that Alberta successfully challenged all the way to the Supreme Court, and now the Trudeau government's trying to ignore what the Supreme Court said on that bill. They're pushing ahead anyway. Of course, there's all the the carbon tax, the green uh, clean fuel regulations, and now an actual cap on emissions for oil and gas production. This is something that Alberta says is going to not only hurt the economy of that province, but it's going to make things more expensive for you, for all of us across the country. In one point the Conservatives have been making, a point they made at committee with Natural Resources Minister Jonathan Wilkinson, is that this is not something any other oil or gas producing country does. Check out this exchange between Conservative MP Shannon Stubbs and Wilkinson. So, Minister Wilkinson, can you confirm whether or not Canada's biggest competitor and customer, the United States, whether the OPEC producers, Canada's biggest competitors in hostile regimes, whether Mexico, Canada's North American competitor, whether Norway, whether European countries, whether countries in South Africa or South America impose on themselves a job killing oil and gas emissions cap? Can you confirm? Well, it, it is a cap that is actually intended to drive employment in, uh, in oil and gas producing areas in this country. There will be thousands and thousands and thousands of jobs created because of the initiatives around carbon capture and sequestration, the implementation of methane reductions. It will strengthen the long-term competitiveness of the industry. You'll notice that Wilkinson laughs. He's, he's mocking in the question put to him by Stubbs, but the United States doesn't do this. The uh, Scandinavian countries don't do this. The OPEC countries certainly don't do this. We are hurting ourselves. Now, again, this is just showing that Alberta gets different treatment than the rest of the country. You've got the consumer carbon tax, right? Doesn't apply to home heating oil. Why? Because they're worried about votes in Atlantic Canada, where a lot of people use home heating oil. So they got rid of the carbon tax on that. Of course, they put a ton of money into uh, EV production in Ontario. And which will require building roads, which even if they're electric vehicles, there's going to be carbon emissions from that. No problem. But Alberta, they are just trying to shut down the great natural resources sector that we've got there. And of course, in Saskatchewan as well. The pushback from Alberta and Saskatchewan, Saskatchewan will be massive, but will it be enough? The Trudeau government needs to be brought down. They need to be brought down quickly because they are creating an awful lot of havoc in this country and doing a lot of damage. Imagine what they can do with one more year to go. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment down below. Share this on social media. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.